you don't feel like a victim. I was not thrown on the ground and ravished. Which the Guys, here we are. We're at this point in time in lawfare where it seems to be getting a little bit out of hand. I mean, dude, at, at some point in time, is a judge going to go, guys, come on. Can I can I get a come on? Because of the fact that we're looking at people that the, the deep state are just digging up. They're like, okay, so is this person cognitively in, you know, there? They're going, no, of course not. Well, perfect. We'll use them because they want enough sense to know that this is completely absurd. And... Well, and we'll use a whole bunch of paid off operatives to make it all happen. If this woman's cognitively there, tell me in the comment section after you watch the rest of this real quick. So many sexual connotations. This was not, this was not sexual. It just, it, it hurt. It just, what, it just, you know. Well, I think most people, as a, I mean, it is a violent assault. It is not. I a think most people. Oh, it's just, yeah. It's just. It's being sexy. Mm. Let's take a short break. Think of the fantasies. Mm. We're going to take a quick break. If you can stick around, we'll talk more on the other side. You're fascinating to talk to. <laughs> Let me lay this out for you real quick. And no, E. Jean Carroll, don't get excited. I'm talking about what we're talking about here. Calm down. All right. 76 years old. Not knocking people for their age. Um, cognitively declined situations can come at, at very early ages in life. So it's not. it's not like... I'm picking on age, but she at 76 and all the air that she's been breathing from the stuff they've been spraying up could have an effect on things. It's going to probably get us all. And I suggest not using deodorant with aluminum in it with uh, antiperspirant. That's a big deal. Look it up. You'll see what I'm talking about. But anyways, um, the uh, deal is, is she's now actually been on several news articles and some other stuff. And I want to show you something right quick about some of the stuff she's been alleged to do. Okay, get ready. The woman here, E. Jean Carroll, has talked about the capital R word against uh, the about Mr. Trump. Okay, so here is some of the stuff that Trump has said. Trump has denied allegations that and E. Jean Carroll uh, called her a, a whack job and who's not my type, which I've heard him say that. And I, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I, trust me, I really understand the, what's going on. Um, when it comes to, you know, people need to have their voices heard. But the circumstances of what we're talking about here does seem a little bit wonky. Because back in June, E. Jean Carroll sat down for an interview with Vanity Fair following her accusations against Trump. The article paints Carroll as a complete lunatic who painted her trees outside her log cabin and traveled the country with her blue hair dyed poodle. She has a poodle that she'd carry around that dyed the poor blue poodle blue. That's a bloodle. Anyways, she also has a cat that she named Vagina T. Firepaw. <laughs> Who she left back home? She didn't want to take vagina with her. Anyways, uh, E. Jean Carroll admits to an interview with Donald Trump, and she's not uh, has not been accused of the capital R word. Then it goes on to describe how she has harassed Roger. Uh, I don't know how to say the right name of Elise. Elise. Roger Elise. Maybe I'm saying that right. Anyways, um, it says that every day she would come in. Every day she had a chance and call him a pearl of his sex. She would call this to him right on the air, and she would roll up her trouser legs. This is E. Jean Carroll, and I would wait for the camera to come over, and then I would slowly pull up the right and then the left trouser leg. It would say, Roger Elise, and I would say, he's my future husband, and I never stopped, and I'd ask him to twirl for me. I simply adored him. I added simply in there because that sounds like what she would say. By the way, this woman's a writer. Uh, and, and writers, uh, bless their hearts, have been one chrome was run away from nuts. Everyone you ever meet are, are really twisted people. Uh, well, I, yeah, I said it. They are. I mean, psychiatrists are crazy. And you can ask any psychiatrist what got them in the field is because they had problems of their own they were trying to work out. But anyways, um, so this woman here definitely got some stuff going on. Uh, I don't really under, you know, they passed the law. Let me get myself big real quick. So they had passed a law in New York that would enable E. Jean Carroll the ability to do this kind of lawfare. Um, up until just like a few months ago, it was you know out of the statute of limitations. And it was, like I say, this was all completely tailored just for this one case, which means, and it was all funded by a bunch of people who are Trump haters. The guy who funded the law, the people who were um, behind the whole push, th that was this was, dude, if you ever seen... A uh, group of people band together to try to go against somebody. This is it right here. And it all boils down to the fact that because Donald Trump was trying to 
get everybody to understand what was really going on. And now you're seeing lawfare at its best. And if we don't get ahead of it, it's coming for you guys. So um, please spread this content out. Try to help people understand what's going on. And just know that I do thank you guys out there in the comment sections. I do thank you every bit for the support. And this channel grows. And it's just a wonderful thing. And so I'm hoping with all that love and all that support from everybody, we'll band together and our human consciousness will save this world. Because it's that simple. So um, thank you. You guys have a good one. I'm out. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. You're fascinating to talk to. <laughs>